I would say the biggest challenge that I had was a deep, deep sense of like my own unworthiness. And for a very, very big part of my life, there was a super different, like, or just this very hard voice and very hard narrative that would play in my head a lot. Um, and, and it almost didn't let me feel a lot of joy because even when there were good things happening, I felt unworthy of them. So even as my business started to get better, even as I got, uh, you know, more recognition, got good grades, did whatever it was, there was this part of me that just felt very like small and very unworthy. And it was just something that no one could really fix for me because it didn't matter like the reflections that I got from other people, you know, amazing friends or whatever it is, but there was just something um, in my own heart or in my own mind that felt like, yeah, yeah, that I, I just was like, I, I, I don't know. There was a sense of needing to like hide and, and not feel like I was, yeah, just not feel like I was worthy of any of these good opportunities coming my way. And so I would sell myself short. I would not want to like charge clients a certain amount, or I would not advocate for myself in certain ways. Um, because that was like a reflection of my own thoughts about myself essentially. Mm. And then how do you feel like you overcame that? Cause I, that's very relatable. I think everyone listening can relate to that, honestly. Yeah, it's really only something that has honestly changed for me in I would say the past like year. <laughs> like it's been a very a six months to a year. Um strangely, there's been a few things that have really taught me a lot of lessons. Um, one of the biggest learning moments in my life has come from heartbreak. Mm -hmm. And I believe heartbreak has so much to teach us and it's such a universal experience but it feels so singular when you're in it so from that space of going through a lot of like heartbreak and really I think wanting partnership because I wanted this like person to tell me I was loved and I was valued and I was worthy um, but having to go through a lot of these heartbreak experiences actually forced me to step into a space where I was like, how can I love myself in such a way that I don't need this sense of external validation or I don't need this partnership? Um, and that that switch has taken a long time. It's taken a lot of self-love meditations, a lot of affirmations, um, some little bit of fake it till I make it type of things. But um, I think that process of learning to fall in love with myself has changed my my internal landscape and my internal dialogue in such a way that I really started to feel that sense of like wow I like I do I do bring value to the world in the way mm -hmm. that I exist and add joy to other people's lives and it, it, it was just like, I don't know, it seems so simple, but it was such a life-changing thing for me. Um, but it really did come from getting to a super, super low space, I would say. I just felt very small and very disconnected from myself. And then having to kind of like life raft my own way out of that um, journaling and meditation being a big part of, of that process. Wow. I'm so happy for you that you you're like you got to that point where you feel like you truly love yourself and you're worthy. Um and it I think just the fact that you said it happened in the past year or so is like I I think people looking at you from the outside for for many years would have thought like wow, she's she has it all. She's amazing. She's blah 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 all the stuff. And it's you know, we all deal with self-worth <laughs> issues. It just goes to show how how real, how common it is. And, but I'm, yeah, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Yeah. I think it's one of those where, like you said, from the outside, it would be very easy to look at my social media and go, oh my God, she has a million followers. She's doing all the travel. She can do acro or do all these things. And if you don't like 
have a voice inside your own head that is kind to you, those experiences are a little bit dulled. It's not that I didn't enjoy them, but they're a little bit dulled. Whereas now everything feels like I can feel the fullness of everything yeah, because vibrant. Um, yeah, there's yeah. so much more vibrance. And also what's been super, super beautiful is when people compliment me now, I actually can feel like I can receive it because before there was like a wall there of like, because I didn't believe this thing about myself, I couldn't as deeply receive all the like love being reflected towards me, even though it was always present. It's always yeah. been there. Um, yeah. Now, because like that container, that part of like my heart is open. I can see it so much more. I can feel it so much more. Yeah. Um, and it's, really motivated me and inspired me to uh, help other women and other like sisters in my friend group when they're going through those harder moments in life of heartbreak to just be like a really strong anchor um, for them because it's I know how much growth can come out of that and I just want everyone to feel the joy on the other side. <laughs> <laughs>